You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. Hmm. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm going to put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right, then. Let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. I'm gonna do side quest hey, now. No one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. Uh. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Howdy. Madam M said you'd be seeing my hate her. <laughs> Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect you while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Alright. Burning thighs? What? Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. Before ever stops. Burning thighs. What the hell? Is this the first one? This better be right here. Is this you? Oh, is this working out? <laughs> it could be like a disease or something, right? I have a disease, like a something. Welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. Oh, it's one of these types of games. Okay. Performs. How do you follow her? This trifling. Anyway. <laughs> now don't go crying to mommy. Yes. Don't forget to breathe. Already? Come on. One more rest. This is, I wanted to go faster, that's why. Yeah. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. Not bad at all. That's how it's yeah. done. You've got this. Come on. That's how it's yeah. done. I knew you could do it. Not bad yeah. at all. Your form's looking good. You've got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. That's how it's done. Not bad at all. You've got yeah. this. Come on. I knew you could do it. That's how it's done. Your form's looking good. That's yeah. how it's done. 
Bring your skills? <laughs> Was never in doubt. Well, I prefer higher rhythm stuff, personally. Not too fast of a rhythm, but like a more upbeat rhythm type of stuff, personally. You know, once it got got to that point, I was good. <laughs> How? How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? <laughs> Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You did it. You really beat me. You gotta be in incredible shape. <laughs> it's unfair that you guys are having all the fun. What do you say? May I have this squat? I don't like their proposition, but okay. I hope you're all warmed up. <laughs> He's getting ready. You saw that? <laughs> oh shit. We're falling to the first guy, the second person. I can't take the pressure, no, I can't. You can do it, Jules. We're rooting for you. He does know. I'm going to fast, Doc. Damn it. You started talking? True, true. Alright, I'll shut up then. I'll shut up. <laughs> so it's next minute game here. Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Oh, this is where we get the dress? Or no, probably not. Wait up, Cloud! Sam <clears throat> caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Wall Market. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come! Uh, are we even allowed to walk through the door? Can't have just one! It's <laughs> mostly the same folks every night, so... Well, we can't just waltz in there uninvited. Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Can you just put the cross dress? always look so... I mean... Moronic? If it helps us get the Tifa in that outfit, you know? Right back at you. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back. Not ever. My life is ruined. It's over. Kill me now. Come on. There's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son. See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchants. A sure thing. But then I lost. And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration. Your precious inspir- who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it. But I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Is he that stupid? Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? <sighs> hey, wait for me! So, this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? <clears throat> oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what. 
you know. The no, thing? I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, good luck. The time has come for me to wield my powers of assessment. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. I'm in for one. I'm gonna see some. I have the perfect room for the both of you. Just say the word and I'll show you do it. Huh? No, no, no. We're not here for that. <laughs> if you don't need a room, that's it. That's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait! <laughs> you ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise. Like, grab it and whip it out. <laughs> and then you'll be able to see everything. I'm sorry. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. The sauce! Put it away! Put it away before someone sees you. No one can know that we have it. You're the grand prize winner! Have a special prize! Ha! 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 Don't scare me like that. Whatever. We got what we came here for. Let's get out of here and head to the Materia guy. Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Could it be? Oh, it is. The sauce. The sauce. Whoa. Oh, never <laughs> thought I'd live to see the day. It's just sauce. No big deal. Don't sell yourself short. This is only given to one who is truly a man among men. Huh. I know. Damn, bro! That's why you're such an awesome dude! Oh, right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. You shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh! Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro! This whole thing was a side quest in the, in the original game, well, right? That's that. Time to polish was this, the was it optional back then too or no? Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Should get the original. Oh, this guy. Okay. Yeah, because I remember having to come to this shop, do well, the other no. thing. When we played this game last seats. year. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. Damn, I seriously have no idea what it could be. And Misa sauce. <laughs> um, where do you guys want to go with fire, ice, or lightning? It's all level two, so. I've got it. The problem is the heat's not high enough. Oh, know a little something about fire, do you? Okay then, let me try turning it on to see if you're right. See if you're right. Well, will you look at that? Works fine. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great. I can't. What a shame. He seemed to be enjoying the meal, so I wanted to ask him what he thought. Maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for your help. Oh, and here's a voucher with my apologies. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. <laughs> Eat them two at a time as their flavor will change. I'm telling you, folks, you ain't never seen frozen treats like this. Real story. Sanctuary. Hey, 
Hey, you. This yours? Well. Oh, that about you you got there? Could have said something sooner. Come on in. Oh, Kusuri. That's not what that kanji means. Or it reads as, which is medicine, basically. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads of them. I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some deliveries, but... Uh... Oh, I'm gonna hurl. Eh, I can't very well leave him alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're what? Military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. <laughs> um... Sure, let's try. I mean, we're not gonna help out really, but... You're a lifesaver, literally. So, let me see. What needs delivery? Here, need you to deliver this to someone. You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere, but make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. It was poison, I tell you. The sick son of a bitch puts poison in his food. I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you saved my life. Here. No. I'm grateful for your help. And then there was this crazy looking house, right? And it was all like trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, bam, bam, boom. Your friend fought a house. A house? <laughs> oh, hey. Welcome back. That does sound stupid when you try to explain it, right? Already? Yeah, now he won't shut up. Anyway, how'd the deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. Thanks for the help. Great work. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're Oh, that was like a chain mission like. thing. Oh, it's just one it? of those. Okay, I fucked well, it up. Oh, well. Belong to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh, shit! The inspiration! Bingo. You see, all us wall market entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession, and now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card. Highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Er, I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! Come on, bro, get a move on! So hey, old dude, we're back! Right huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine. I think. This <laughs> is special delivery, just for you. Ho oh, ho! My inspiration! You've returned to me at long last! Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is, and it was hard won. I sewed dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A Honeybee in VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming. <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. <laughs> you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro. For you. Yo, I'm loving this game. You are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come. Like the best part. Inspiration, here I come. Can I go too? Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Should probably go see Sam again. That it for jobs? Not exactly. 
I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. We've been waiting for you, champ. Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show. All right, let's do this, let's do this. Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring. Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. Well, I don't have Blizzard equipped, so that kind of sucks. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! Hmm. Buzz off. Ain't dead yet. That's pretty the cool. I like that a lot. Again. I like that a lot. <laughs> nice going, champ. You were in fine form today. Here's your cut. You earned it. Not here for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Arcane Scepter, nice. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? The girl keeps in shape. And boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. <laughs> anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to her rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. Ta or the other way around, right, Teeny? <laughs> I apologize. Um... Cloud! Finally! Tifa! She... I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. <laughs> Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. I prefer Wedge over Johnny. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! You again? Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. 
Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. That sucks. Do you fireworks too? Do you for the... This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? Mm -hmm. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? So she's gonna run all the way here just to go back the other way? The hell? And I thought that just was impossible to move in. I guess that's why we're not running. But still. Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. Huh. She's not bad at all. She's gotta be seeing someone. <laughs> These people, they're great. A wedding cake? Alright, here we are, people. The part we all wanted. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. Mm -hmm. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? <laughs> fair enough. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We talked to you like two hours ago. Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. <laughs> Straight through those doors and down the hall. Okay. Alright. Let's, um... I've dreamt of this moment. The honeybee is... Oh. Okay. Watch the stinger, sweetie. <laughs> what shape am I making? Mm. <gasps> uh, 
this circle? Okay. <laughs> the statue? But now I'm in debt. It's legit, looks legit. Oh, uh, what's this door? Oh no! <laughs> the beekeeper's back! <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! I remember this. <laughs> Seems legit. Anything in here? Oh, here she is. Hey there, doll face. We've been waiting for you. Come on in. Have a seat. No, I'm not here for. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. I think you might have wandered into the wrong room by mistake. What was that about? Why is she all bitchy? And here's the man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. We hey, dance. Hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> uh okay. Look at the move of the tutorial thing. I did not read that at all, by the way. Oops. Perfection. That's kind of work it, honey. Okay, I get it now. I got it, I got it. <laughs> You've got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. Oh. <laughs> this is really cool. My, my. Is that Cloud? Hmm, darling, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you, hmm. you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing. I hate that one on the back so much. Oh shit. That's uh a lot more than I expected. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. That's fair. <laughs> what is this? Hold on. <laughs> so 
the dance off? Is this legit a dance off? Think you can follow my lead? <laughs> I want to see how this dance goes. I don't have time to focus on the on the thingy thingy. <laughs> How'd she get in? <laughs> Seeing Cloud do all this is hilarious to me. Oh shit. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. Wait, in front of everyone? Wait. <laughs> Does it suggest depending on how well you did at the game? I don't know. I heard there's different options for this. of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. Huh. That was interesting. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
Was it planned for oh, it's the us. Start? Probably oh, okay. not. Did you see their look of surprise? Oh, there's Cloud. Wow, Cloud. Now that was a show. Come on, Dad. Time to go home. Cloud. Cloud is going to talk to Hello? us. Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No. But you're so pretty. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the audition. I was cringing a bit my face. If you guys could see my face for that, but we're not doing face cam for this for any of these streams for this game. Here you go again. Everyone at the show would know. Wait, would you go with that watch hat, guys? Like, if one of you, like, girls, late ladies in the chat, what was it, this guy here? Eyes on me, babe. Just me. I don't know if that's something I can promise to do, baby. Because he said he looks at other girls to compare them to you. Would that logic fly, fly with you all or no? Although the trick to get away with it, at least I've heard. I think it was a comedian that said it? I don't know. You just, if you see someone, like, you're looking at someone, right? Then your lady you're with, she's like... What you're looking at, uh, uh, but what you do is you talk about how tripe she is instead. Like, you say how, like, girl, her, like, her weave is whack, her dress is whack, everything ain't right, she's tripe. And then you go, yeah, you're right, she is tripe. Let's keep it going. And then that's, that, that's how, how, that's how you save yourself. <laughs> I will do that. Wouldn't they know where Cloud? I mean, no one else knows where Cloud's for some reason. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. All right. That Andrea's girl? That Go to your room and wait. Me. Quietly. Okay, then. Room's at the end. Keep walking. That's trifling. Huh? What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. I don't like the guy's hair. It bothers me. Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> he know he nailed it, that's funny. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. <laughs> we gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. 
So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> you? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <laughs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Is there anything with this? Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on ladies, let's hustle. Alright guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Who would you who would you, you all pick pick though? I'm saying Tifa. Who's saying Aerith? And who's saying Cloud? Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Lady. Corneo. Oh. <laughs> He would talk that right away. Shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. His hair is really flowy. His stomach has physics, but Tifa oh, has no yeah! physics. I've got it. I've got it. You see that, right? Today's bride to be is today's and tomorrow's or the day after's. If the dawn takes a shine to you, pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh. You got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Hmm. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <laughs> Oh god. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Where'd that oh, camera come from? You're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> I'm really mad about the physics. I'm really mad about that. What was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. Okay, I'll send with the camera. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, young fellas! 
We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself. Never forget, the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four yeah. guys between yeah. us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. Did we get to fight with someone just as? I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stupid! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with gear. Huh. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. That was nice. Okay, let's hey, go it's us. Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Yep. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with curls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? Hey, ain't you two the rejects? <laughs> the rejects, <laughs> You'll get yours! Feeling familiar, what's going on? What do you think of this trick? Back me up, okay? to do that one of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners Damn. sorry but your boys had to learn some manners too what the cloud your clothes uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk. Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> <laughs> It was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. 
or I'll smash him. <laughs> <laughs> Is he into that? <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? What do you guys think? Oh. Uh, does it matter? Oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't the matter. answer lies... In the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells. <laughs> I'm really mad about his physics.